Revelator John. Hello, welcome to Revelator John. What is induced flow? So, induced flow is the air flow flowing over a rotor blade uh, that creates a downward uh, flow of air components. So, we have a blade that moves forward in its rotation and it meets a horizontal wind that is called the rotational flow, rotational airflow. The uh, airflow that is coming down uh, through the disc, uh, processed over the blades, is called the induced flow. So the resultant of those two is called the relative wind or the relative airflow. So the, the angle between the relative airflow and the pitch of the ang of the blade, uh, or the sorry, the cord line of the blade, is known as the the angle of attack. So, if we uh, increase the induced flow, incre increase the induced flow, therefore what happens is that as more the air is being processed through the disc a lot quicker, increases the induced flow, and that increases the, uh, the um, relative wind coming higher up for a given pitch setting. Therefore, that reduces the angle of attack, therefore the net result is that reduces lift. If the induced flow is reduced, slowed down, that means that the relative airflow comes down for a given pitch setting, therefore the angle of attack is increased, therefore the lift increases. Now, where do we normally find this automatic and independent increasing of induced, correction, sorry, the, the decreasing of induced flow, which increases the, um, angle of attack? Well, consider ground effect. Ground effect is probably the most uh, common uh, situation where we would have uh, a, a close proximity to the surface which actively reduces the flow of air being processed through the disc, therefore that increases the uh, the angle of attack because the induced flow is reduced. The induced flow is reduced, therefore the relative wind comes from lower down, therefore there's a greater angle of attack between the relative airflow and the uh, the cord line of the, of the blade itself. So that is the induced flow, which is the airflow that is uh, processed and generated by the rotation of the blade. It is... Um, because the air is flowing over the blade itself, which creates a downward component, which ultimately changes the relative airflow angle to the blade and ultimately changes the angle of attack. Thank you.